Hi, my name is Tim. I'm Senior Application Specialist at HR Soft. In today's webinar, we will have a look at something we call custom entity properties. This is a settings per file related to customers of a given product, for instance. With me today, I have my wingman, sales manager, Mr. Francois Simon, as well as product manager, Mr. Tero Salonen. I think, I'm not entirely sure. They are here to answer your questions and you can use the chat box in the GoToWebinar panel for that. I'm going to make room after the session for more questions to let you follow this presentation better. Uh, the webinar is going to be pretty quick. It, sh it should take somewhere in the range of 10 minutes to cover everything like an overview. The webinar is of course being recorded as always and will be made available online later on. Okay, let's get started. The custom entity properties, uh, let me explain that by using a, a small story. Um, if I, for instance, have a machine shop where I'm manufacturing piston rods, then different customers would like to purchase these rods for their engines. Instead of making a lot of copies, one for each customer or even one for each order, I can assign properties to a file and then manage the files based on metadata instead. And you will see and maybe even understand shortly what this is all about. The data that we create are database level properties, so we are not writing anything to the file at all. We are able to, based on the selected customer, print and convert to PDF, for instance, with the sheet format settings. This webinar is meant as a Be Inspired webinar. I am going to show you a bit of the settings as well, but if you want to learn a lot more about this, you can request the profile and we will happily share that with you. From my last webinar, uh, I'm going to use this piston rod assembly. So I want to accredit uh, Rush, who submitted this assembly to GrabCat. So if you need anything, you should go there and find some cool products. But let's go to the live demo instead. So this is what I do in my shop. I am manufacturing these piston heads and rods, and they go into all kinds of different engines. So I have a lot of customers who is buying these from me and put them in the engines. So first off, I want to show you the drawing itself. <clears throat> now, this is the default drawing that I have. Um, basically, it just shows the assembly file and I have some dummy text down here. And right now it's not being used on anything. It's not being assigned to any engine or cylinder or anything like that. You can actually customize the sheet format based on your customers. So what I'm going to show is just like an inspiration, but you can actually do quite a lot more than what I'm going to show. But this, uh, this is my stock drawing. And if I want to sell this one, for instance, to a, a Volkswagen group, then I can go into my properties and then I can assign entity data. So entity data is something that you place on the database level. We're not writing anything to the file at all. Uh, in this case, I have a Volkswagen Golf and I have my 2.0 FSI engine. Uh, this engine, I decided I wanted to have these properties in my files. Uh, it has four cylinders. It's a horsepower output of 200 and the account is Volkswagen. But I could basically add properties to all of these if they were my customers. So if the 1.4 TSI were my customer, I could add values in here as well, Volkswagen. And then I could use the data when I'm going to print and convert the files. So let me just show that. I need to save the file because this is written to the database when I save the file. So now if I go to print and convert, I can create PDF files based on the customer that I just selected. So the customer in this case could be the 2.0 FSI. And maybe I want to add a different order ID for this one. So 500-55, I don't know. And then hit okay. Then we're going to run a conversion of the file and we are going to use some rules that we have defined as well. So let me get back in here and explore into the folder. So now I have a PDF file created. 
And this one now has four circles to indicate that this is a four cylinder car. I have quantity four because we need obviously four rods. We have the used on, it's a Golf MKV, 2.0 FSI and so on. So all of these properties are retrieved from our custom entity scope. Okay, so let me try and explain this a bit behind the scenes. We don't normally do this, but for this one, it makes sense. Imagine that I have a lot of customers. Um, you can actually put them in the custom entity settings. These could be kind of like projects, you could say, or accounts that you are selling to. So I have created all kinds of cars. And based on the selection of the car, there is an action for creating a different output file. So in this case, I took my stock drawing and I swapped the sheet format with the sheet format for this particular car. So how is that working? Well, the sheet format action, if I want to sell for Lamborghini, then I could create a new one and call that 12 sill. The 12 cylinder then needs to have a rule because I want to change the sheet format when I have my piston drawing, then if I select this one, I want to output with the 12 cylinder piston drawing sheet format instead. So from my custom entity, now I can go to the Lamborghini and select this guy and say, well, for this one, I want to use the 12 cylinder sheet format action. Then if I go in my properties and then assign some properties to the customer entity, then I can do like so and say, well, this is a 12 cylinder. It has a horsepower output of 700 and it's actually Audi AG. The account is Audi AG. Hit save for that one. And now I'm actually able to output using that sheet format file for this account. So if I go into print and convert again, I can now select to use the LP700, maybe give it an order ID. And if you look in the additional options, you can see that the sheet format action is automatically set based on the entity option. So now we are going to convert into the 12 cylinder sheet format. So hit OK to that. And let's open it. And then it looks like this. So now it's a Lamborghini engine is LP704, 12 cylinders, etc., etc. So this is what you can do with the, uh, the custom entity scope. It makes it a lot more easy for you to manage uh, customer files. For instance, if you are selling some kind of shared product, uh, then you can basically utilize automation for, for making good printouts for, uh, for that account. So that is basically it. You should be able to search in here as well, LP. Uh, that is not working, I'm not sure why. But you should be able to actually search for, uh, for existing customers and then find products that they have shown interest in or, or purchased. So uh, everything should be available through these custom entity scopes. So the big thing is that you have the sheet format action attached to it. So you can really simple output files based on your customer's requirements. So this is what custom entity is all about. Okay, well, basically this is all I had to show uh, today. Our next two webinars will be how to define and use translation options. This will take place on November 9th and December 7th at the same time as today. We are open for questions when the recording is stopped, but first I want to thank you all for attending this webinar and I hope to see all of you for the next one. Thank you and have a nice day. We are in the life-saving business. We kill your routines before they kill you.